everyone, welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to crochet the steady bear which serves as pacifier holder. So the bear has four paws for four suitors and I sewed velcro on each paw. Maybe you'll get better idea for fastening. Let us know below the video then, please if you'll get better idea for the fastening. I hope you will like it because it's very practical thing for your baby and for you as mother or for parents because you can sleep all night. <laughs> I inspired with this toy, uh, I got this toy as gift for my baby. It was the best gift Ever. It was big helper when my son was looking for his suitor during night. He found the rabbit easier than uh, the small suitor and I could keep sleeping. And what you'll need for this project, you'll need chenille yarn. This is Himalaya brand. It's called Dolphin Baby. It's 100 grams, 120 meters. It's 100% uh, percent polyester and you will need about 135 meters so you will need two balls of this yarn it's up to you what brand of chenille yarn you'll, you'll pick but i will put the link where you can purchase this yarn uh, called dolphin baby from himalaya brand uh, so the link will be in description and you'll need 6.5 millimeters crochet hook a pair of scissors, safety eye buttons, safety nose buttons, stitch markers and uh, hollow fiber. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, this color of yarn. It's Dolphin Baby from Himalaya brand and it's, uh, it's uh, 80349 uh, number of this color. And I'm using 6.5 millimeters crochet hook. And this color is amazing. I really like this color of the yarn. And now you have to start with magic ring. If you don't know how to make magic ring, maybe you can watch my single video for magic ring. There are three ways how to make magic ring. And the link for this video will be in description of this video or, or in the information card. So now make eight single crochets into the magic ring and the chain in the beginning you have to count as single crochet so it's eight plus one so in total you'll get nine single crochet nine single crochets in this first round Okay, now you can tighten the magic ring. And now we have to join the ring with the slip stitch and insert your hook into the first stitch from the left side. When you will count from the right side, it's eighth stitch. So not, don't use uh, the chain, use the first stitch. So this is the right stitch where you have to insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull it through and make a slip stitch. Now we are going to work in a round. So you stitch marker and insert your hook into the first stitch. It's the stitch where you made a slip stitch. And I'm going to hide this starting tail behind my work. So you can hide the tail during crochet and make two single crochets in this very first stitch. And in this round, you have to increase every stitch around. So make two single crochets in every stitch all the way around. And then meet me back again. So you can pause the video now and meet me back again at the end of this round. In next round, we are going to increase again and increase the first stitch, make two single crochets in the first stitch. And 
one and two single crochets in the same space now one single crochet and now increase again so make two single crochets in next stitch and this round you have to increase every second stitch around now you can see the first increase and the last increase so in very last stitch of the round you should make one single crochet in next round we are going to increase every third stitch so I'm gonna uh, increase the first stitch make two single crochets and then just one single crochet in next two stitches now increase again and continue working two single crochets in every third stitch all the way around okay uh, now you can see first increase and last increase between them you should have two stitches where you make one single crochet so in very two uh, very last two stitches you should make one single crochet in next two rounds we are not we are not going to increase so make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make two rounds of single crochets in next round you have to increase every ninth stitch so you should increase four times in this round so I increased the first stitch and now make one single crochet in next eight stitches maybe I didn't say this is first part of tutorial and the tutorial has two parts so in this part uh, in this part I'm going to show you how to make the body so we are making the body I didn't tell you at all I'm sorry so we are making the body and pause in this part now I'm going to increase again so every ninth stitch increase in this round now make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make three rounds so three rounds of single crochets three rounds without chains Okay, it's getting right shape and now we will make uh, the gap for pause for a uh, lower pause so chain five on the beginning uh, you should use stitch marker I don't have stitch marker here I use always the starting tail as stitch marker but I am uh, at the beginning of the round so chain five now skip four and make single crochet into the fifth stitch tighten it more than normal than always and now make one single crochet in the next 15 stitches maybe you made a mistake uh, so maybe you have different number of stitches uh, you should have 40 stitches in this round so maybe you have different number of stitches just make the gap both gaps um, uh, on each side okay I have 15 single crochets and now you have to make uh, uh, another gap on the other side 
exactly on the other side so chain five skip four again and insert your hook into the fifth stitch and make single crochet then make one single crochet in uh, in each stitch to the end of this round so you should have 15 single crochets okay now we are going to make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and you uh, have to make three rounds of single crochets and in this chain you have to make five single crochets so one two three four and five then make single crochet into this stitch and continue working one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make three rounds of single crochets three rounds without chains this is how it looks like I have two gaps on uh, each side of the body and now we are going to decrease so decrease on the beginning of the round I'm using uh, the, the invisible way how to decrease and now I'm going to make one single crochet in the next eight stitches but in this round you should decrease four times so now I'm making one single crochet in the next eight stitches then I will decrease again then I will make one single crochet in the next nine stitches decrease one single crochet in the next eight stitches decrease and one single crochet in the next nine stitches so I have decreased twice and you have to decrease by, uh, two, more, two more times okay now make one single crochet in uh, each stitch all the way around and make two rounds of single crochets if you will have any questions write me here below the video but I hope it's understandable enough for you now we are going to decrease again so make two single crochets together on the beginning and then make one single crochet in the next two stitches then increase uh, I'm sorry then decrease decrease we are decreasing in this round decrease again so make two single crochets together again in this round you have to decrease every third stitch all the way around okay now one single crochet in each stitch all the way around in the next two rounds and at the end of the round you should have 38 stitches okay and in this round we are going to make two more gaps for the upper uh, pause so chain five skip four and insert your hook into the fifth stitch make single crochet now one single crochet in next nine stitches and maybe you don't understand me well because I'm not American I'm not British uh, I'm Czech girl so my English is not too good I know it so maybe you don't understand me well or maybe English is not native language so you can put subtitles or I will put subtitles <laughs> into the video and you can turn on subtitles uh, in your language if there will not be your language you can write me and I will put uh, subtitles in your language into the video so now we are going to make a, a another gap so chain five skip four and then make one single crochet in each stitch to the end of this round okay now you have to make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around uh, remember you need to make uh, five single crochets in this chain in each chain 
in this chain and in the chain on the other side you need to have five single crochets and then it's easier so make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around okay I made one more round of single crochet so you can see I have two gaps or four gaps <laughs> for four paws and uh, you can see I made two rounds of single crochets after after what we made uh, two gaps in the the upper part of the body now we have to decrease so decrease uh, the first stitch on the beginning decrease and then make one single crochet now decrease again so in this round make two single crochets together in every second stitch so decrease one single crochet decrease one single crochet continue working like this all the way around Okay, in next round, make one single crochet in each stitch around. If you want to uh, use hollow fiber, you should use some piece of textile or something and put the hollow fiber into the textile and then put it into the body of the bear. Uh, it's better, but I will not stuff the body. Now you have to decrease every stitch. So decrease by decrease to the end of this round. Okay, I have about nine stitches left. But that's all, it was the uh, last round of the body. Keep the tail longer if you want to use it for sewing, sewing the body to the head after. But I will use a uh, sewing thread, it's better. Uh, you can cut the yarn and pull it through. And now I'm going to show you how to make a uh, pause. So insert your hook somewhere here and use new end of the yarn and now you have to make one single crochet in each stitch around so pull the yarn through chain one and now make one single crochet in each stitch around I'm going to hide the tail behind my work and you should have 14 single crochets in this round with chain so chain and 13 single crochets together or in total is uh, 14 stitches and use just uh, one loop try to use just uh, this one front loop it's better it will look better not gap just this front loop then join the round with a slip stitch and first stitch and make four rounds of single crochets
Okay. I made uh, four rounds of single crochets. Uh, I was working in a round, I didn't say it, but you can start every round with chain one and join the round with a slip stitch, it's up to you. Now we have to decrease and we are going to decrease twice. So I'm going to decrease on both sides. Uh, it's up to you if you will decrease on the beginning and on the other side. So on the beginning and in the middle of the round or as me on both sides. So I'm going to decrease here. So make two single crochets together. Then make uh, one single crochet in each stitch to the other side where you have to decrease again. So very important is uh, just you have to decrease twice in this round. So here I'm going to decrease and then one single crochet to the end of the round. So I'm going to make a two or three single crochets and then make two rounds of single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch around and make two rounds of single crochet. So two rounds without change, without decrease, without increase. Okay, now we have to decrease again. So I'm going to decrease twice in this round and again on both sides, on the same uh, sides. <laughs> so here is my First decrease of the round. And here is second decrease of the round. And between decrease make one single crochet in each stitch. Now I'm at the end of the round and then make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make three rounds in total. So make three rounds of single crochets. Okay, I have done three rounds of single crochets and now we are going to decrease again. Decrease every second stitch. So in this round we should decrease three times. So decrease and now one single crochet. Decrease, this is second decrease. One single crochet and decrease again, it's last decrease. And this is last round. So now make just slip stitch in next stitch, cut the yarn, slip stitch, <laughs> cut the yarn, pull it through and uh, you should have six uh, stitches left and I will uh, close the hole with yarn needle. Okay, this is how it looks like now. You have to make with exactly the same way uh, um, rest, of course. So now it's the worst <laughs> thing what you need to make. 
uh, and it's fastening. I saw uh, the Velcro to the paw, to each paw, uh, so it's a little harder, but it's okay. Okay, and that's all from me for today, and I hope uh, you like it, it was understandable for you, and I will look forward at the next part of this tutorial. See you soon.